her to 60 in, in two seconds. Um, but <laughs> tends tends to break down a lot. You know, you're, you're going to have to break that chop into the repairs a lot. Uh, in this game, she's definitely a lot more balanced. Definitely a, you know, a, a mid 2010s like Honda Accord, you know, can have be able to get a lot of miles on her. It's not going to do any, you know, she might not be able to do anything super flashy, but, you know, she can, uh, she she can definitely uh you know speed things up a bit uh, especially with you know, near flip jump so being such a a potent kill option at the ledge so you know we'll see how it shakes out here for both these players Yoshi ninety five and Lira uh, here on Town and City for game one yeah I like that Honda Accord uh, that little reference there man certainly just a point A to point B character I mean yes it can get flashy if need be but um, I mean you know what she's gonna do I mean she's again point A to point B just a, a beater with the heater you know what I'm saying nothing nothing too out of the ordinary. But I, I guess, the, you know, obviously for both characters, too. I mean, you know, there is a, a lot of flash, but I feel like the fire is certainly like, you know, the end game. Like, yeah, you know, I did like a fancy B reverse. I did something like super duper sick, but it ended in a forwarder anyway. So, like, was it, you know, was it really that out of the way? You knew it was coming. You knew I was going to, you know, that's my go to move. You know, I don't have any other dance moves besides that. So, um, yeah, that insert, that, insert that one scene from Indiana Jones here. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yes, be that as it may right now, man, Yoshi95 having a pretty... Ooh, yes, the whip. But Town and City plus ZSS not being the toughest character in the world, at least on hit. Um, you know, you're going to survive to see another day. But for how much longer, though, man? You know, you really can't afford to get hit by that too much. Yeah, Link's a deceptively heavy character, so I'm not surprised to see that not kill right there. But still, Libra putting on a clinic right here. Good use of the bomb recovery there from Yoshi95 uh, to get back to the stage. Even though he didn't necessarily need to do it, it's definitely a nice way to you know mix up your opponent's uh, you know uh, eyesight right there. Mm -hmm. I like the tech in place, too. A lot of ZSS is after like a hard knockdown like that. They're probably anticipating on you rolling in again. ZSS, for those of us who don't know how this this uh this meta human gets down she is a trap based character so if she hits you you know what i'm saying not the quickest buttons on average but she's going to try to read where you're going and i like that he's not rolling in oh my god they're rolling into down smash but oh my goodness grace i think that was up throw wasn't it that was yeah uh, definitely in uh i it's not a, a kill throw but it's a throw that kills sort of situation uh, at that high percent that you're almost seldomly never going to see zss use that move so that move's constantly going to be fresh but Great story, uh, stuff right there from uh, from Lira. Uh, so, you know, let's see how the response is going to be from Yoshi95 here to get the stock off. Yeah, I'd like to see more Nair from Link. Um, I know approaching physically versus ESS is probably like whatever. Okay, I like the one hit back here into... Usually we see turnaround F tilt, but I guess up B can definitely get it done as well. But I would certainly like to see more Nair tossed out. It's a move that demands a lot of respect. It's really hard for most characters in the cast to deal with it. ZSS obviously with not the best grab in the world can't really grab Link after something like that. So, uh, you know, she would probably have to elect to use more like uh, the frame one jab or maybe like up tilt really quick. So, again, not the flashiest approach option from Link in the world, but it is a kick and those yield boots pack quite of the punch. Yeah, no, that was just uh, an unfortunate situation for Yoshi95. He, even if he wanted the bomb recovery, he couldn't because the bomb uh, was stuck on the Town and City platform. So no jumps, uh, had to air dodge back to, uh, with any hope to get back to the stage. And we were right there to meet him with the forward air. So. Absolutely. Lira just looking prime and ready here to push this to a game number two in their favor. But and before we get to that, you're certainly going to have to get through Link, which, you know, despite what the match was spread might say, um, it's still certainly a very daunting task because, again, you have to make sure you don't really miss anything versus a character like this. A character, very tough. You know, trading is not in your favor. Smart. Goes for the one, two, three jab. Not even looking for a, a jab lock or anything like that. Just a short and simple option. Yeah, no. Uh, there we go. The F tilt will connect right there. So, again, uh, one of Link's best tools, uh, especially at the ledge, uh, to get these kills off. Uh, able to convert right there. So, you know, sub 50 on, on the docket right now. Yoshi 95, but Lira's been doing again uh, a great job. A lot of uh, steady, uh, you know, consistent damage. Yeah, and consistency is going to be the name of the game here. You know, you really can't allow, you know, either one of these two characters to get too much of a lead on you. So I like that they're keeping it relatively close. One thing, really big thing that I like from Lira is that he's staying very well aware of where the boomerang is. Obviously, the bomb is the biggest threat on stage, but the boomerang, if you forget about it and it comes on its way back because it's being tossed out in the air just so, like, in case Lira is jumping, you know, they get hit by it and it at least 
gives Link a little bit of room to breathe, or if not, can convert into something. But he's staying very mindful of it, and I really got to, you know, shine some light on that. Smart stuff by Lyra. Ooh, uh, Lyra almost getting the uh, the plasma whip out. And probably wouldn't have been enough to kill, but still would have been really uh, solid damage here. And uh, you see Yoshi95 starting to build their way back into Thick of Things. You see them uh, dancing around uh, Lyra's shield right there. Ooh, like you mentioned, Rod, the boomerang. Uh, is going to catch Lira right there. So just like that, Yoshi95 back in the thick of things. Yes. Oh, mm, I think that was up tilt. I believe that was up tilt. But yeah, we're also starting to see more like one hit back here come out here from Link, you know, or from Yoshi95, excuse me. Um, you know, oh my God. Wow. Yes, up tilt, deceptively a very strong move to deal with. Great stuff. That was, yeah, that was a, uh, a nice uh, usage of that move right there. Guns runs up. Uh, gets the reverse up tilt, and uh, that's enough to get the the uh, the kill and the game. Um, so you know, uh, Lira definitely looked like they were in you know steady control of that game right there. But again, the clutchness of Yoshi ninety five to just uh, not say die. Uh, you know, you, it, it was interesting. You didn't see a lot of stuff like you know boost kick out of uh, you know boost kick out of shield or or down smash at the ledge uh, from Lira. They were more so trying to go uh, you know punish the tertiary options uh, like jump and and. Uh, Oh, or, you know, jump attack from the ledge. So, you know, curious to see uh, what adjustments will be made here. But again, uh, great resilience there from Yoshi95. Yeah, and I like that you brought that up, too. I think one of the biggest reasons why, um, you know, you just really had a tough time with Yoshi here is because um, utilization of back air. And what I mean by that is, you know, yeah, you know, he did get like, I think one hit back air into forward tilt and then one hit back into up B. I mean, those are very great conversions, and I love the fact he was able to implement them. But the fact that he kept moving with back air in the air, he just never was not moving, and kind of almost taking a page out of ZSS's book. I mean, she's a character that, you know, her movement is really 95% of her meta. I mean, just how she gets around, how she applies pressure, because, again, she's trying to bait you to do something. So I feel like to kind of work around that, you know, I'm just consistently tossing out hitboxes in the air. Sure, if you want to meet me up here and... and you know try to beat me to the swing go for it but you know what's on the line if you miss um and then of course there's you also run the risk of trading with me which i'm sure you don't want that either but regardless of whatever the case was in that last game this has been a great opening here for yoshi at 95 lira gonna have to answer back with some percent here soon yeah uh let's uh very strong start here from yoshi 95 uh you know getting all the projectiles working uh in tandem with each other even seeing the hero spin <laughs> make a, a, a rare appearance uh <laughs> But there you go. Good grab right there from Lyra. Goes for the forward throw. Again, uh, great. ZSS is, I think, best throw, you know, at least uh, setting up for these tech situations. Uh, break that nation to the bomb right there, too. So both players uh, kind of scrapping right now. And then uh, Yoshi95 utilizing the platforms very nicely as well. I love the corner control from Lyra. Got to talk about that. I mean, just the fact that you can get somebody like Yoshi95 in a corner. Again, it's, it's adult Link of all the Links. So I, of all three, that's the one that doesn't want to spend any time off stage. You, know, you got to get back as quickly as possible. And being able to just run right up, you know, pump your brakes and then go for pivot grab. You know, just because you know he's going to try his hardest to get out of the corner is something to always keep in the back of your mind. Another thing to keep in the back of your mind is Link's dash attack, okay? You get caught jumping. You get caught not pressing a button, predominantly the shield button. You're going to eat dash attack. <laughs> yeah, definitely an, an underrated move in his kit, um, especially as a, as a kill option as well. Great catch right there from Lira. Uh-oh. Uh, these backs at ledge bomb still in. Oh, game. wait a second. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, he's I'm out. Yeah, and Link presents the and one mixtape. My goodness. That's that was a uh, hot sizzle indeed. He's... <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, again, the the we brought it up at the beginning of the set, but the, the Nair Z drops that are, are going to be uh, something you cannot forget about. Uh, Yoshi95 put in work right there. Whoa, wait a second. That was sick. Okay, I don't know if he meant to have the plasma whip hit the bomb right there to the, you know, zonk his recovery. But my God, that was some clutch stuff. That was a big whammy, unfortunately. That was a uh, for that was not big money. That was a whammy, sadly. Wow. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Turn off your targeting computer. Something wrong? Like, <laughs> <laughs> my God. <Right. laughs> <laughs> my down throw oh yes just going for some low percent kung fu man again 
uh, you really got to count your hits, you know, sparingly with a character like Link. He's so big, you know. Nothing's really, you know, one thing that I've always really found frustrating about Link is that a lot of things aren't really true with him after a certain percent. That percent is a very small window where he's just kind of like really banking on mix-ups in his sheer strength. It's not quite like the other two Links where things stay true for a good ch uh, chunk of the match. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, my God. he's going to throw it? He's, he should throw it. Yeah, he's going to. Oh, he's. My Off the easy. <laughs> 3,000 trick points. Yeah. <laughs> it's in the shoes, baby, but. <laughs> Yeah, it, it definitely is most definitely in the shoes right now. Yoshi95, oh my god, didn't, doesn't even need the dramatic zoom. My man got escorted to the blast zone as the hero of time, the champion of Hyrule, uh, up 2-0 right now in Lira. My goodness. Yeah, hit that man with the right this way, sir. I'm going to show you to your room. <laughs> so, yeah, we had to downgrade you to something a little bit more fitting for your neutral. Um, yeah, <laughs> over here in the blast zone. <laughs> yeah, NBA crazy. champion Jason Williams wishes his cross ups were that good. Uh, <laughs> most definitely. Put some respect on his name. Uh, but yeah, listen, that was an, uh, a a great performance right there from Yoshi ninety five. Uh, everything was just clicking on all cylinders there. You know, we saw shades of of uh, you know we again we saw a, a bit of a slower pace match in in that first game. Uh, but definitely unleashed some bigger plays in the playbook right there, especially with the Z drop nairs, like we mentioned. Uh, that's just such a crucial part in uh, in uh, Link's offense. Uh, so uh, you definitely, it, it was it's great stuff. You know, uh, now on uh, game point here, potentially uh, to qualify here. Yeah, Lira's going to have to do what they did. I think it was about halfway into that first stock, and that's really played to Link's weaknesses. Um, you know, what I really liked was that, you know, there's a lot of points on the stage where, you know, Yoshi95 was very comfortable, very confident, but I can't ignore the fact that when he got caught in the corner and he was, you know, at a pretty okay percent. I mean, it wasn't high, but it was enough to get you off stage far away from the ledge. And, you know, really started rolling in, started directly air dodging in. You know, he was able to get stuff like pivot grab, some very... Uh, you know, precise and very pos position important type stuff there with ZSS. So, um, I I'd like to see that, but unfortunately, no ZSS. A, a different blonde-haired, uh, dangerous woman here on stage, and it's Rosalina and Luma. Yeah, uh, dangerous woman brought her friend. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll see if if the change to Rosalina definitely makes a difference. Uh, gravitational pull, I'm sure, will definitely make a difference. Uh, you know, in regards to how often uh, Yoshi95 will be able to actually play with the bomb but again you're sacrificing you know you're, you're uh, gaining that but also you're you're playing a bigger lighter target so you know you definitely have to keep that in mind here if you're Lira but we'll see if it fans out here yeah very curious to see how this one kind of unfolds I mean as it's kicking off it's staying relatively close but I'm not surprised that Lira's starting to kind of pull away here I mean um one big thing to discuss well I guess the platforms are back but have there not been any platforms for any longer than what we've seen there uh, Rosalina just can really make uh, Link's life tough when it comes to landing, you know, up till the core starts to combo and, you know, up air and there, keep Link off of his feet. And even though it might not be enough to kill, because like you mentioned earlier, Link is a heavy guy. There's a lot on that utility belt of his. He, oh, yeah, goodbye. Ow. Hit that man with the goodbye. Good Lord. Yeah, <laughs> good night moon for sure uh, with the, the galaxy uh, brain forward air. But yeah, that's exactly what you need. And there we go. The the uh the remote bomb uh, not exploding but converting into the forward air there so you know yoshi 95 wasting no time getting back into the thick of things yeah and this is what i'm talking about you know yoshi 95 caught in that corner really just wants to get back onto stage for dear life i understand rosalina is very dangerous but understand that these late early percents she's probably not really interested in going off stage versus you i mean ledge trapping has shown historically in ultimate to be much more effective than going off stage and edge guarding so at these early percents, I mean, sure, if the opportunity arises to gimp Link early, take it. But she's really just trying to trap him, put good damage on. I love Lira's Rosalina for that. Yep. And so we're seeing shades of uh, Yoshi95, uh, you know, recognizing when Lira's going to try to go for the gravitational pull. And we're seeing him. Uh, we could potentially see scenarios where, you know, you, you bait that out and uh, you use the bomb as bait uh, to go for things like forward tilt and forward air, as we're seeing so far. And just like that, Luma already a non-factor once again. Uh, but, uh, again, both players uh, still hanging around here in their second stocks. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, oh no! Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a 10 all around from all the judges right there. My goodness. An excellent combo right there from Yoshi95. 
is now one stock away uh, from advancing on 3-0 here, Rod. Oh, and that was supposed to be up smash, but she accidentally picked up the bomb, man. Probably kicking herself for that. I don't know if that even would have been enough to kill, though. I mean, 117% on Link on Town and City. Who knows? But it still would have been great damage, and Link would have still been off of his feet. You can't air dodge through up air. No, sir. As you see, Lyra uh, starting to get a little bit desperate here, swinging these smash attacks on shield uh, recklessly. But, uh, yeah, it is it is looking like a... Uh, a it's, it's looking rough right now. Oh, my goodness. You are a sir. bad man, Yoshi95. He is. This is the baddest of all the Yoshis. Wow. Good Lord. And just like that, uh, free throws into gym. Uh, 